I already glued my brows down off camera, so we're just jumping into blacking out the brows using a cream paint. So this is a CFX, I can never say that, CFX. X cream paint by Mud Cosmetics, and I'm also using this as the base of the skull. I'm just using some setting powder on a brush to keep that cream paint in place, and then we're gonna start mapping out the skull. I'm using the Morphe Neutral Territory palette for this in that black shade. I was working off of a few different reference photos for the skull, but I wound up going with more of like a boxy eye shape and then I'm just filling it all the way in with the eyeshadow. I'm adding a few upward lines just to make it look a little bit more menacing and then it's onto the nose. I did a pretty traditional skull nose shape for this, but I always like to make one line go up a little bit higher to give it a slightly like asymmetrical look to make it look a little bit more natural. <laughs> Since we're getting started on the mouth next, I'm just painting over my lips using that same white cream paint. I'm blacking out the insides of my lips to give my mouth a more uniform look. Then I'm adding the lines for the teeth, starting at the base of that black line. I'm extending my smile lines out to create the jaw, and I'm taking those lip lines all the way out. I'm adding a few curved lines, looting into that jawbone connection. Now I'm working on those bottom teeth lines to meet the others, and I'm filling in that jaw hollow. To make the jaw and teeth look a little bit more realistic, I'm just evening out that baseline and adding some shape to the teeth. An easy way to blend a skull into your neck if you don't want to paint your neck, you can always just use some black eyeshadow and just smudge it downward. I'm going over those eyes to make them look a little bit darker, and I'm also just adding a few cracks and lines in there just to make it look a little bit more detailed, a little bit worn. <laughs> now it isn't a complete skull unless you add those hollowed out temples, so I made these a little bit bigger than I normally make these. I don't know why I went so big with them, but you can just do them a little bit more subtle along your hairline if you wanna do that instead. These are the M111 lashes by Eldora, and I like these because you can always see the ends of the lashes fluttering out. I did my hair off camera, and this is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know that this is more of a simple skull look, guys, but I like to do more of a basic skull look so that you guys can add your own creativity on top of it. You can always add some sparkle to this, maybe add another color in there, or paint it a different color completely, add a wig, add some context. There's just so many different variations of skulls. I think that's why skulls are like the classic Halloween look. But yeah, if you guys wind up recreating this, definitely tag me over on Instagram. I'd love to see it. I love you guys so much. Make sure to give the video a like if you liked it. That really helps me out. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Halloween videos from me. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.